It's crazy how, of all of these here, if this is your first time joining the stream and you see this one, you're like, ooh, that's a good persona. You see this one, like, hmm, okay, okay. It's like, ah, this is the weak one. And then you see these two and you're like, oh, I wonder which one is the strong one. But if you've been around here for a while, <clears throat> oh, Nietzsche! <laughs> look at this, look at this absolute unit here. So, we have God's hand. No big deal. No big deal. We have immunity to physical damage. We have this, vile assault. We have an automatic for something that's kind of, eh, it's okay, but it's, it's decent. We have this, restores all HP of all unconscious one time per battle. Also, no big deal. Power charge, because of course. Apt pupil. And this is their next one we have to upgrade. We probably only have the one skill that we'll actually be upgrading before he is completely yoked out. Three of them. Don't give up now, okay? All right, let's try this Aeon Ray and see how this works. To, uh, I need you Did to you hit them. This? Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Unlimited! Ah! Ah! No! What? No! Are you kidding me? Something's behind that door. Open the door and enter. Okay, let's do this. Nato! Oh, and Kanji's the first to cry out. Wait, wait, what? Whoa. Ah, oh, it's about time you arrived. Oh shit, wait. Wait, this is flipped. Nato seems to be the one in control. And the shadow seems to be... Oh, interesting. Dealing with this child has been quite a pain. No! No, no, don't go! It's useless speaking with you. I need to go back now. Wait, are we not gonna have a boss fight? Because Naoto's like, No, I, I, I accept you, but I can't, I can't deal with you right now. Why? Why are you leaving me here? Why am I always left alone? It's so lonely. I don't want to be alone. Nautokun. You wear the same face as me. It's as if you're implying we're one and the same. Oh no! Nauto! No! 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 But the difference between me and you is... Night and day. Why delude yourself? I am you. These childish gestures are no mere affectation. They're the truth. The fools all say it, don't they? You're only a child. Keep out of our business, kid, and so forth. No matter how many cases you spend hours cogitating over, no matter how many crimes you solve, you're a child in their eyes. It's your brain they're interested in. The gray matter locked up in that skull. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is a this is another cool topic to get into. As long as they need it, you're an ace detective. But once you're done, it's back to the playpen with you. You haven't the means to deal with society's two-faced nature. You're just a lonely child. And that's kind of why this whole philosophy of personas exist. You need that other side of yourself to deal with the fact that society is a two-faced playground of sorts. You need that other bit of you, the other bit to survive, basically. It's, it's true. Naoto. I want to be a grown-up. Oh. I want to be a big boy right now. Then they'll see who I am. I... I want a reason for me to 
first day. Yeah, Naoto's. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's enough. I can find my own reason for living. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you that's, that's impossible. impossible. You, you are but a child. child. How, How can you change, change that, that essential truth? truth? Stop it! At your core, you admire the sort of strong and cool men who populate detective fiction. Sounds like us, doesn't it? But in trying to emulate them, you must know that in truth, you're nothing of the sort. You're a child. There's no avoiding first principles. Admit that you're a child, and admit that there's nothing you can do about it. First principles. <laughs> now then, our analysis is complete. Let us begin the body alteration procedure. You have no objections, do you, Naoto Shiragane? Oh, is Naoto a fake name? Stop it! Naoto. Such a cool, manly name. But a name doesn't change the truth. It doesn't oh, let like yeah, you cross yeah. the barrier between the sexes. Here we go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How could you become an ideal man when you were never male to begin with? Oh, okay, okay. Wait, what? Did he? Did I hear that right? Yeah. He's not a guy? Nope. I won't throw a tantrum. That accomplishes nothing. <laughs> How often I've heard those words from the adults. Throwing a tantrum won't solve anything, now Tokun and other such bilge. They made you cry, didn't they? Yet here you are, mimicking those same men. What exactly are you trying to justify? What? It's all right. You needn't suffer anymore. That's why you're undergoing this body alteration procedure to begin with. You throw a tantrum, but it yeah. fails to change the situation a single bit. I can quite understand the feeling. After all, I am you. Don't say it. Don't say it. That's not true. No. Kanji. Don't say it. Kanji, tackle them. It's okay. Let the kids spill the whole thing. Oh, okay, Kanji. Naoto's just gonna keep hurting. Yeah. We'll just do our job and kick the shadow's ass, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> As if you know anything about me. You'll kick my ass, huh? Fine. Go ahead and try, you lizard brained imbecile. All right, here we go. Save the discussion for later. Here it comes. Whoa. Whoa. I am a shadow, the true self. Oh, this is cool. What? Are you sick of yourselves too? All the shadows we cast, those are really cool. Very well. Then let's begin the special operation. Bring it on, man! I'll pull you through this! All right. You made up your mind? Then let us commence. Hell yeah. All right, here we go. Uh, we'll test fire. Go for it. Resist fire. All right. Wind. Oh. Okay, so Kanji is going to be weak in this fight. Black spot. Here we go. Let's get that crit. Okay, not that much, um, not that much health. Or maybe we just do crazy damage. Ha ha! Keep dodging it, buddy. Let's go. All right. God oh handle. Boom. <laughs> Holy shit! Hit him. Not bad, no, not no, bad. That will never do. Patience must lie still for me to drill proper holes into them. Element zero. Elemental resistance is nullified. 
Okay, so that's probably a setup for a big AoE. All right, let's see it. Whoa, Kanji, are you okay? Um, let's hit for like 2,000 damage though. Let's go. <laughs> okay. You okay yes. there, Kanji? Hell Don't yeah, hell yeah. Yourself. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, God hand again. Let's go. I think we can just, yeah, we can just do this. This should be good. Oh my god! Kanji's been hit. So Finally happened? got a crit on Kanji, wow. Oh shit. Um, we could just do this and it would probably kill him. Okay, not Senpai, enough. Your okay. Defense has been lowered. Go! Yeah. And there we go. G fucking G. So Naoto Kun was a girl. Yeah, yeah. So Naoto, talk to us. <sighs> hey. Are you awake? Where am I? I remember you all arriving and. Oh. That's right. You saw everything. That's gonna be okay. <laughs> I lost both my parents in an accident. I was still young, so my grandfather took me in. Mm. I was inept at making friends, so I spent my time reading detective novels in my grandfather's study. Yeah, the voice is a little bit different, I noticed, yeah. Not trying to, like, project out that, like, deeper baritone voice, yeah. When I grow up, I'm going to be an awesome, hard-boiled detective. Oh, hard-boiled. My parents were proud of their job. I had no qualms about following in their footsteps. An inherited occupation can feel stifling to many, but I welcomed it. Mm. I yearned for the day I could be a detective myself. And you are. Perhaps I inherited that desire from them as well. Sure. I was always alone. Seeing that... My grandfather must have believed it was his duty to help me realize my dream. At first, oh, I was shit. delighted, but not everything went so smoothly. <sighs> Sticky keys, hold on. I secretly aided my grandfather with his clients, and before I knew it, people started calling me Junior Detective. Oh. What was that you said about you're only a child? Yeah. Not everyone welcomes my collaboration when it comes to solving cases. Yeah, there's some inherent stigma of where, like, if a kid helps you with your job, then it's like, well, I'm a lesser person because somehow they're too good at this. It's the kind of thing of where you'll have people who studied chess or piano from, like, three years old or what have you. So then you get these nine, ten-year-old grandmaster chess players or master piano players. They'll come in and absolutely you know crush it but that's the thing you know it's, uh, it doesn't mean anything you know what your age is when it comes to your your passion and your skills my status as a child was sufficient to offend many of those whom mm -hmm. i worked with yeah were that the only issue then it would have resolved itself with time ah uh, but also but though i will one day change from a child to an adult oh I will never change from a woman to a man. Oh. Do you not like being a girl? Oh. Is that why you always dress like a boy? My sex doesn't fit my ideal image of a detective. Besides, the police department is a male-oriented society. For sure, for sure. Yeah. If they had the slightest concrete reason to look down on me, no one would wow. need me anymore. Wow. This is so true, though, the ways in which groups will find something about you that is a reason to discredit all these other things that are entirely irrelevant. They'll use something that's entirely irrelevant and disconnected to be like, ah, because of this, now you can't do all these other things here. And it's just, ugh. You don't know that. 
Let's go. Hey. Power of friendship. Let's go. You must know already that what you yearn for isn't to become an adult or become a boy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <sighs> it's to be respected and accepted as a great detective. You're absolutely right. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. I kept ignoring you, pretending you didn't exist. <sighs> but you are me. And I am you. Mm -hmm. You've always been inside me. What I should yearn for, no, what I must strive for, isn't to become a man. It's to accept myself for who I really am. <laughs> the strength of heart required to face oneself has been made manifest. All right, let's see it. Oh, it's got a little suit and everything. Oh, that's cute. Naoto has faced her other self. She has obtained the facade used to overcome life's hardships. The persona Sukuna Hikona. Oh. In any event, you're a devious bunch. <laughs> yes, we are. I can't believe you kept something like this hidden for so long. <laughs> no wonder the perpetrator has eluded the police. <laughs> but it's apparent now. This case is far from over. Let's go! Let's go! That's right. And you proved it now, Tal. Dang. It's just crazy that we're 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 gonna be adding a new party member here. And it feels like we're so far into the Anyways, game. We can talk more later. We need to get you out of here. Yeah. Yeah, we got brains in the party now. Let's go! Hey! Juness! Hey! Naoto's breathing heavily. Sheesh, she really put her life on the line for this. But without her efforts, we'd never have realized that the culprit is still at large. You're too freaking reckless, damn it. Oh, Kanji. I never doubted that you'd all come for me. Mm hmm. Although the reality turned out to be far beyond what I'd imagined. Still, Naoto the big brain. What a dumbass. You're no genius at all. <laughs> Kanji calling someone not a genius. <laughs> We're tearing our hair out over you. We, yeah, yeah. So you did worry about her, Kanji. Oh. Oh. Shut up. Mind your own damn business. You know what's so beautiful about this? Kanji has a crush on Naoto, and even at the reveal that, you know, she was a girl, Kanji, nothing has changed. Absolutely nothing has changed. Kanji, like, we, like, I, I fucking love Kanji so much. I'll take her home. I don't think she can go back by herself. Oh. It's all right. I can. No way, Missy. Don't <laughs> think that doing everything on your own is the adult thing to do. Okay, Rise. Missy, that, that's, that's a bit much, but Come okay. Come on, let's go. Grab on. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, you're able to rescue Naoto safely. And it seems the case is not over yet. Okay. Hey, welcome back. Oh, are they drinking? Oh my God. Sorry, we got off early today. <laughs> Come on, take a seat. Uh, how, how are you doing, Nanako? They found Naoto-kun. Oh, uh, do you know who Naoto-kun is? Yes. He just up and vanished without a word. But it looks like he's back now. Mm -hmm. Way to put a scare into everyone. Heesh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm relieved. Hmm. You don't seem surprised. Uh, uh, mm. You didn't already know he was found, did you? Hmm. <laughs> Maybe. Ah, uh, you really ought to do something about that habit of yours, Dojima-san. <laughs> they go to the same school. Rumors spread fast out here, you know? <laughs> but man, Dojima still slightly suspects us. I guess he can be a little difficult. Maybe he got sulky after being given the boot and ran away from home. Mm. But I tell you, I was shocked to hear that he up and vanished like that. 
If there'd been a fourth kidnapping and murder, we'd be back to square one again. Hmm. Hmm. A dachi. Hmm. You know what sucks? We still don't have proof that the Kubo kid murdered anyone besides Mr. Moraoka. I like that Adachi kind of is there to just exposit and confirm what the police know or believe or think about the investigation so that we can kind of have like an objective kind of perspective on where things are at, you know, in, in general with it in case we're not keeping track ourselves as a player. How are we going to make a case like this? <laughs> I wonder if Dojima-san's instinct is right. Maybe there really is another perp out there. The real one. Mm. Adachi, how many times I gotta say it? <sighs> He's Quit drunk! running your mouth like that! Well, sorry. <laughs> All right, see here. <laughs> yeah, see here. Don't worry about the case. Just go study like a normal student. Yeah, yeah, okay. If okay. you don't... I'm gonna go up my social links and all that. Yep, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <sighs> uh-huh. Yep, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I'm going to bed. Night, Dajima. <laughs> Sorry, I killed the mood there. But yeah. yeah, I can totally understand why Dojima-san's worried. Just leave the case to us police. You know the problems it could cause if something happened, right? Like, mm. if it happened you were mixed up in it. We'd be real worried. Hmm... Are more scary things gonna happen? Oh, it's gonna be okay, Nanako. Be okay. No way, Nanako-chan. Yeah, that music right change. Now. Oh, ho, ho, ho. We caught the bad man, so no more scary things will happen, right? Everything's just fine. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> I like how Adachi kind of read the situation and was like, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Anyways. Your dad's just a worry ward. Leave it to me. You might not know to look at me, but I got the most brains in the whole police department. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah, you're definitely drunk, Adachi. Oh, was that too hard to understand? Did you get it? <laughs> yeah, you 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 dug Dojima well, with that. Now that Dojima-san's gone, <laughs> I should get going too. Good night. Yeah, good night, Adachi. Yeah, Adachi's in this weird place where there's plenty of reasons to suspect him, but he's just, just a bit out of the sus category compared to, like, like some more, like, extra, like, supernatural, like, explanations. Adachi went back home. What does got brains mean? He's smart. Yeah. It means, don't worry, it means he's not an athlete. Ha ha ha! <laughs> hey, it's possible to be smart and uh, and athletic. That's I I resent that. I I resent that. That's <laughs> uh, we're gonna we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be we're gonna tell the truth though. Huh? So things will be all right. Yeah. Nanako has fallen silent. The night passes with the awkward mood hanging in the air. Huh. Yes, yes, yes. I'm home. Oh, with Dojima, too. Welcome home! Hey. Dad! Sorry. Oh, later, Nanako. But, but this paper... Scheduling of parent-teacher interviews? Man. A survey, huh? Hmm. Fine. It's fine. Oh. It's fine, okay? Oh. You don't have to write anything. You don't have to come. It's just another case to you, right? It's more work, isn't it? Bad people and everyone else are more important to you than me, huh? You're not real. You're not my real dad. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, music completely hey. switches for that. N N Nanako, wait. <sighs> oh, 
What's gotten into her? Let's go look for her, yeah. Uh. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Now's not the time to stand around asking questions. Dojima nods strongly. Okay. I'll go check Juness. Kuwabara, you look around the shopping district. I'm counting on you. Okay. You need to find Nanako. Okay. Central shopping district. No Nanako. You don't see Nanako. Hey! Hey, Kuwabara! Hey, the squad! I ran into Dojima-san at Juness, and he told me what happened. Sheesh, you could have just asked. We got a call from Yosuke-kun. I'm sure if we all look, we'll find her. Hey, do you know what kind of places she might have gone? A place where Nanako would go. You recall that Nanako said her family used to go to Samagawa when her mother was still alive. You told your friends about Samagawa. Hmm. Samegawa. All right, Kuwabara, you're head, you head straight there. That's our best bet. The rest of us will split up and look around. If anyone finds anything, give the others a ring, okay? Let's go. Kuwabara, did you find Nanako? Damn. Damn it. Where is she? Oh. Nanako. Oh. Could you talk to her? Bro, bro, we have got to go together. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I'm not her real father, huh? Wait, are you not actually a real father? Or is this like just repeating what she said? Please. Kuobara, you should go pick her up. Dude, no. She'll listen to you. Bro, bro, why? You're the family she trusts most right now. As long as Nanako is okay, I'm fine. Please. Big bro. Oh, why'd you come here? Let's sit with her. Yeah. I came with mom. Oh, Nanako looks lonely. You told Nanako that her father was the one who found her. Hmm. He was looking for me? Did dad say anything about the river? Did he forget about mom? He never talks about her. I want to see mom. Nanako's struggling not to cry. I'm struggling not to cry. Shit, dude. Through Nanako's fierce resolve, you feel that your relationship with her has grown deeper. Huh. Dad must have forgotten mom. There aren't any pictures of her at home. He probably threw them all away. Is he going to throw me away too? No, not a co. No. I want to say all three of these things. Don't worry, he hasn't forgotten and he won't abandon you. I want to say all three of these things. I'm gonna do the top one, he hasn't forgotten. I'm going home. Let's go home together. You called your friends and told them that Nanako was safe. You returned home with Nanako. <sighs> you talked with Dojima about various things. I'm going to sleep. Uh. Hmm. Oh, is this late already? Night. Uh. Yeah? She wants to be tucked in. What? You said you would read me a book before bed. Hmm. Oh, oh, that's right. I got it, I got it. Just a few pages. Yay! Oh! 
I swear to God, turn your phone off. Hold on. Dojima here. Ichihara-san. Yes? Yes. And that means... Well, if it's okay with you, I can be there in just a few. Mm. I understand. Goodbye. Dad, are you leaving? It's my job. But you said you'd read me a book. I can do that anytime. <sighs> this guy, this guy. This is more important, huh? When's anytime? Damn, damn. We've gotten that close to him that we can both options are calling him out directly. When's any time? Well... Yeah. Dojima is smiling wryly. Are you two fighting? Y you can go, Dad. No, that's not it. I'm sorry, Nanako. What book do you want? It's okay. I promised. Way to go. It's something. It's something. Come on, let's go, Nanako. Yeah. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. Nanako went to her room at Dojima. Man, she made me read the whole thing. Yeah. Let's talk. <laughs> yeah, let's talk, yeah. The phone call was from Ichihara-san, my former senpai. I'm having him run tests for Chisato's hit-and-run investigation. He was calling to tell me that the test results are in. Judging by his tone, he didn't find anything the police haven't already come up with. I know going over there won't change the test results, but... Dojima looks severely disheartened. It was a white sedan. Most likely large and American. As expected, no such car is registered in Inaba. No records of one being repaired or scrapped either. Worst case scenario, the car's out of the country by now. It scares me. That I couldn't catch the perp. That I'll never have an outlet for this sick feeling. That I'll just have to swallow it. Every time I look at Nanako. Every time I notice ways she looked like her mother. I feel like my face is being pushed down into reality. And it scares me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought I'd be talking to you about this. Dojima confided in you. You feel that you understand Dojima more. Ah, uh, that was huge. Not just for him taking care of Nanako, but for talking to us about that. Level 7. I know I can't stay this way forever. While you're still here, I need to face myself. Way to go. You sat with Dojima for some time in silence before going to your room. A lot of adults don't talk like this in front of kids. They have too much pride in general. Even though we're kind of an older teen in general, we're still a kid. Ah, Sensei! I'm scared! There's something scary! My teddy sense is detecting danger! It's a red alert! But it's almost time for work, and I can't leave without passing through here! <laughs> what should I do? Give it everything you've got. All right, I won't hold back an inch. Wait, so what am I supposed to do? I still don't get it. Yeah. But man, this feels worse than a shadow. <laughs> How awful. Are you scared of... <laughs> He's... It's a cat in front of a door. He's... <laughs> Teddy is... Teddy can't walk through the hallway because... <laughs> Oh my gosh! Gee! Now, now, don't... Now, now, come over here. There's no need to be shy. You're not getting away from me today. 
Oh my god, I was right too. She's literally staring him down from behind the corner. It's the whole thing of when you have someone like... <laughs> like halfway poking out from behind a corner just looking at you like... <laughs> Samagawa Floodplain. Hell yeah! Yes, let's continue this! It seems Kanji called the boy here. Here. Oh, cool! Whoa! Whoa! Kanji! Yes! Kanji placed a bunch of knit dolls on the table. Each one with different clothing and accessories. They're very elaborate. I can have these? Yeah, if you don't need them, I guess you could just toss. Thank you! Uh, uh. Oh yeah, Mom said you should at least be paid for the materials. She gave me some money. I, I said I don't need it. Uh, I'll take the money. I'll take the money if they don't. Or, Kanji, would it feel better if I paid you? I can give you like 50,000 yen for all this stuff. I look like I'm in this for the money to you. Uh, Mr. You're from Tatsumi Textiles, right? Uh, oh, uh, nothing. Oh, big bro! Nanako! Oh. oh, dolls! These are so cute! What are these? Uh, well, uh, well. This man made them. <laughs> That's amazing! You're really good! <sighs> she looked straight at me when she said, This man. Oh! Oh! Hey, Nanako chan, don't go around telling everyone, okay? It's kind of embarrassing. Why? I think it's cool you can make things like this. I want to learn how to make them too. Oh, well, maybe next time. That okay with you, big bro? Uh, yeah, I want to learn too. The hell? M me? Teach you? Or, I, I ain't that good at teaching. Kanji's face is thoroughly red. <laughs> oh, I was on my way to Emmy chan's house. Teach me next time. Bye! Oh my god. I'm gonna show these to my mom. Thank you, mister. He stuffed them all into his shirt or something. Like, however he carried them all is ridiculous. Senpai. I think I understand now. A little, anyway. About what strength really means. I used to think it was doing what needed to be done. Like a man. So I thought, for me, that was catching this damn killer. And I mean, that's important too, but there's something else I gotta confront too, ain't there? Yeah, your past. Uh, wait, your weak heart. That feels like a translation mistake. See, the thing is, is that I can't tell if this is a positive answer or not. It seems like it could be. I really don't like it, but I, I kind of like it more than your past because heart thing means seems more relevant to what's going on. So I'm gonna pick it, but here we go. My weak heart. When I met that other me in the TV world, I really hated knowing it was me. I thought I should change, but now, I feel like I haven't changed a bit. So I started to panic. Kanji is muttering to himself. It ain't that easy to become strong, is it? Kanji's looking far into the distance with a relieved look on his face. His face shines with a gentleness you've never seen before from him. Oh. Kanji. I'm taking off. Mom saw the stuff I made. She's been hassling me about selling them at the shop. The hell's a textile shop gonna do with stuff that's already been knit? Despite his words, Kanji seems happily embarrassed. Yeah. Later. He parted with Kanji and went home. Oh, so good. Chie Senpai says the steak bowl here is great. It is good. <laughs> and hey, she's the expert. Oh, come on. 
You're Kanji Tatsumi, right? I'd like to have a word with you. Huh? Huh? Yeah, well, I wouldn't. Come with me. You got a warrant? Oh, shit, that... Mm. On what charges? Ah, you're the kid with ta that Tatsumi's been hanging out with lately, I see. So you're in cahoots. That's right, punk! So what if we hang out? What's it to you? You know there's been a group of teenage bullies lurking around here, don't you? We got a tip saying you've been threatening a child at the hill in the floodplain. Of course, because no kid would hang out with Kanji and me without being threatened. Threatening? Child? Oh, him. Hmm, so you admit it. Not a shred of remorse, either. No, 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 no. He was just being nice. S senpai Seems Kanji doesn't want you to tell. You two are going to have to come with us down to the station. Quit it! Now wait a sec, Senpai has nothing to do with this. Yeah, let's go, kid! Oh, mister, what are you doing? You know these boys, kid? Can you tell me how you know them? I don't think they're being straight with me. Hey! The hell are you telling that kid? You call yourself a cop? Did this boy ask you for anything? For instance, did he claim he lost his money? You lost your money, mister? You can have some of mine. Just as I thought. <sighs> that ain't it. Oh, but I came today to give you the cookies mom baked as thanks. I was going to sneak in and leave them at Tatsumi Textiles, but here you are. Thanks? Thanks for what? Here we go, here we go. He made me a bunch of dolls, like a bunny and cat. He's real good. Dolls? And you're saying Tatsumi made them? What a load of... There's no way you're getting me to believe that. Bro, the kid just said it! I... I had it with some of the adults in this game. Holy shit. Holy shit. Believe it! <laughs> the truth is the truth. Tell him, Kanji. Yeah. Thanks, man. Yeah, senpai. I got it. Yeah, let's go. Kanji nodded firmly. All right, listen up, punks. There ain't any lying about it. I made the kids some dolls. What with the ones for his friends and his mom? It was eight all told. And let me warn you, they're so cute, they'll give you diabetes. The instant, the instantly fatal kind. So what, you want me to teach you how to make them? Huh? What? You about to say that ain't like me, right? Go ahead and laugh, damn it! Like I care. I'm used to being pointed at. And what's most important is I ain't gonna make this kid or senpai a liar. Hey you! That button's falling off. I'm gonna sew it back on, you hear? <laughs> Officer, what are you doing with my kanji? Oh, w well, ma'am, there's been several cases of bullying around here, so... Kanji had nothing to do with them. Mom. Oh, he would never do such a thing. He may be stupid and short-tempered, but he's a strong and gentle child. Why, just the other day he showed me his dolls and he told me I can put them up for sale. Hell yeah! Let's go buy some of Kanji's dolls! Yes, let's go! Oh! You old bag, what are you saying? We apologize. If you'll excuse us. M Mom, you believe me over the police? You would never do such a thing. A mother knows. I need to prepare dinner now. Don't go stuffing yourself at Aya before coming home. Oh my gosh! Ugh, I... Mister, are you crying? Oh, no, no! I ain't crying! This is snot! I got a cold. You want to catch it, huh? Seems Kanji has grown a bit. You feel your relationship with Kanji has grown yet deeper. 
<laughs> yes! Oh! Senpai, I... I think I'm getting a sore throat with my cold. Damn it! My nose stop, won't stop running. No. Oh. Thanks. He waited for Kanji to calm down, then went home. Our precious boy! <laughs> He's getting so much, so much more confident Welcome himself. Back. Ah, lunchtime. Central Shopping District. Chinese diner Aya. Oh, but we have this music while in Aya. He came with Naoki, who has finished helping his parents. This place is pretty good, huh? I usually eat here a lot because it's so close to our place, but for some reason I haven't eaten here recently. Because of the murder? Might be a bit insensitive to say it, but I think he likes us not beating around the bush. Hmm. You're right, actually. I feel like everyone's staring at me. Naoki is smiling wryly. The liquor store is pretty busy, but I can't do much to help. I mean, it's actually not our business that's busy. Mm. Most of the media has stopped coming around, but if there's nothing new to report on, sometimes they'll pop up. Lately, the neighbors have been coming one after another. Poor thing, they'll sob. Even the lady from the neighborhood association came. Funny how she never actually spoke to Sis before. Oh, I have a rant. I have a rant about these kinds of fake people. Holy shit. Then they'll all tell me, you need to live an admirable life for your sister's sake. Hmm. Suffocating. I mean, what exactly is an admirable life anyway? I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know. All these are typical answers. But I think the truth of it is just, I don't know. Like, because it means different things to different people. All these things are too specific, even though they're kind of general. Yeah, this is all suffocating stuff. I don't know. So you're looking for the answer too. Living is hard, huh? Even though we're already going through it. It's like we're still learning how. Now he laughs awkwardly. Nice, nice, I made a good choice. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I just seem to talk about odd things when I'm around you. You feel that Naoki is slowly opening up to you. Yes! Awesome! Anyway, let's eat. Chinese food isn't good when it, once it gets cold. Wow, that was an unnecessary <laughs> dig. <laughs> the chef's glaring at us. <laughs> See you. You went home after eating with Naoki. Okay, I'll do my I'll do my mini rant on people that are fake and then come in when either something uh, amazing happens or something horrible happens, and then they suddenly act like they have some like obligation to speak into your life. There are these people. I don't know what the deal is. Basically, they do not speak to you. They do not interact with you. They do not seem to care about you at all, at all. Once you do something that separates you from the crowd, even if it's something that's horrible, something that like happens like your sister dying. They'll then come out of the woodwork, talk to you specifically, and give you like advice that's unprompted, unsolicited, about how you should live your life from then on. I, I am an adult, I'm 31 years old. It baffles me. I do not understand why people feel like that this aspect of them is something that they can just, oh, I'm just gonna come in here and say this shit. Most of the time, like most of the time, the things that they're saying are, I mean, profoundly, profoundly like unnecessary. Like if they spent five seconds thinking about what they're saying and then being like, Wait, why do, why do I feel like I'm so important that I need to say this here? Is this related to your YouTube channel too? Yes, I've had this happen with the YouTube channel as well. I, 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 this is not a rant though about that specifically, but yes, I have had a couple people come up to me and be like, I think you should do this for your YouTube channel. And I'm like, why? And they're like, well, it, because it makes sense. I'm like, what are you basing that on? Do you have a YouTube channel? No? Okay. Have you ever like done anything like this before? No. Okay, <laughs> so 
I see for me personally I'm at the age where I'm not like Naoki. Naoki unfortunately is young enough where people are just gonna say stuff and he can't really talk back to them too much without having them be like, oh, don't be disrespectful. But for me, at my age, I'll just tell people, I'm like, hey, that's not necessary. I, you know, thank you, but, but you know, this isn't your place. And they'll get offended at me for not taking what they said with like, oh, I'm going to immediately implement that. Like they get literally upset. So it just, it, it just blows my mind. And usually, and usually, like, this kind of thing happens with people that have, I mean, little to no relationship with you. Oh, you're a kid, you have to listen to adults. That, that is also another thing. But the thing is, I think this happens just for people that are older than you. Now, it does happen for people that are around the same age as me, where it's like, it's close enough, it doesn't really matter, like, age isn't an aspect. But, like, if someone died, oh, no, 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 the, this was, this was the one, oh yeah, this was the one, oh my gosh. This was the one that was the worst. So the rant, the reason why I have this rant specifically is because my mother had a chronic illness for about a decade. Absolutely horrific situation. Lots of family came around her and were doing their best to support her. And it was a really hard time for the family. But, but there were people that had like, loose connections to her through like just stuff in general and these people would like like come over to visit when I was a lot younger and they would basically like kind of almost hold her hostage in a conversation about how she needs to do these certain things so that she'll get better and then she would try explaining to them that she's done all that stuff that you know thank you but you know done all that stuff and then they'd like then they'd start like really like pressuring her to make sure that she's and oh my god it it god. the rage the absolute indignation the like there there are fewer times in my life where i was more furious at someone unrequested advice usually comes from eccentric people or egocentric people who might even sincerely feel like they care but they don't get that something does not revolve around them I think you just summed up the whole thing, Bad Weather TV. Yeah, that's basically it. Literally at my aunt's funeral, my cousin came up to me and told me to give up art and get into programming. I was incredibly upset with him, but I couldn't say anything because it was a funeral. It's not even like, what? Yeah, 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 exactly my face. Yeah, yeah, it's just the like, I lost the paper I was supposed to return to school. Oh, what should I do? The teacher will yell at me. Oh, I'll help you look for it. Thank you, big bro. Nanako seems ready to cry with distress. You decide to search the house. Mm. The papers Dojima is always going through are here. Mm -hmm. Paper titled, Parent Survey Regarding Scheduling of Parent-Teacher Interviews was hidden among them. The word, any time, has been written in the day requested box. Is this the paper Nanako was looking for? Huh? There's something else hidden in the papers. Seems to be a photo. <gasps> oh. You decide to show it to Nanako. You handed the paper and photo to Nanako. Nanako looks at the paper on the table. It says... Anytime, I'll try on it. So, he can come anytime. <laughs> I see. <laughs> and this is a photo. Oh, this is mom. This little baby in the middle. That's me. That's smiling. Why did dad stop smiling? Oh! He's lonely too. Huh? Dad's lonely? I see. So that's it. Nanako has realized something. After mom died, I was lonely, but... Oh, voice acting. I'm not the only one who's sad that mom's not here anymore. Yep. Dad, he was lonely too. 
I'm sorry, Dad. Oh, it's, it's okay, Nanako. Nanako looks more mature somehow. Yeah, yeah. You feel that your relationship with Nanako has grown deeper. Ugh. Rank eight. Thank you, big bro. Oh, absolutely, Nanako. Will Dad ever smile like this again? Absolutely, I'll fight for that smile. For both your smiles, damn it. Nanako stares at the photo. Good night. It's getting late, so you put Nanako to bed and went to your own room. My. The letters from my husband. How? You told her they were at Daidara. My, my. Oh, my. It must have been when he came to collect the contents of the storehouse. So that's where I kept the letters. Thank you, Kuobara-chan. From the bottom of this old woman's heart, I'm so happy. Isano is very happy. But I'm going to burn them. I'll go get some matches. Wow. Hardcore. She's going to burn them. What should you do? Ooh. Ooh, ballsy. Um, read them. Read them. Do you have enough courage? You decided to read a little bit. The wooden well frame. I was once shorter than it. I have outgrown it. In the time that we have been kept apart. What's oh, poetry? That's all the postcard says. Another postcard has a short composition on it. I want to see you so much. How much sky, earth, and water do my words have to run through on and over to reach you, my dear Hisasan? How I wish I was this postcard. Isn't that just so sad? He had no idea that he was being deceived. I'm sure he never imagined that the Hisasan he loved would someday wish to see him dead. No, oh, you didn't love him? <sighs> he was a kind, honest, and loyal man. He fell ill and became bedridden. I had to work to support our family. He would always apologize to me for failing as a husband. When he did, he would smile so sadly. His illness worsened and he must have been scared. He began to take his fear and frustration out on me, the man who had been so kind. But that didn't bother me at all. I had agreed that I would work and take care of him the day we were wed, in sickness and in health. But he forgot. Oh. He forgot who I was, and he forgot all about me. I couldn't bring myself to love him. I couldn't forgive the way he would look at me with such confusion in his eyes. And when I cried, he would wipe my tears away like the man he had been all those years ago. I couldn't forgive that. I couldn't bear that. That stranger in his body stealing his mind day after day. When he slept, I tried to kill him. Whoa. But I couldn't. While I was standing over him, he looked up, and he smiled at me. That same smile he gave me when I was a girl. And in the same voice he would use to tell me he loved me, he asked, Who are you, ma'am? Oh, that's heavy. That was three years ago. After that day, he would forget who I was every morning. Every day he would ask me, who are you? And every day I would answer, who am I today? I was a total stranger to him until the very end. He was being cared for by a stranger as he passed away. That was his punishment, punishment for forgetting me. That must have been, oh. I was relieved. Before I could feel anything else, I felt relief. Relief that it was finally over for both of us. 
It was then that I realized that I had been wanting him to die. And because I wished it, he left this world and went to the gods. I am death itself. Isano smiles sadly. You feel that you understand Sano a bit fucking more, yeah. Oh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this was only rank seven. Jesus. Oh. Please throw the letters away. I can't bear to see them anymore. I don't want to touch them anymore. I'm sorry. You weren't able to give Hisano back the letters from her husband. Perhaps you should speak with the owner of Daidara. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Central Shopping District, Sozai Daigaku. You came here with Naoki, who has finished helping his parents. Then Masaya made up an excuse for why he was late, and he said, The wind was really strong. The teacher got really pissed. Shut your eyes, all of you, he yelled, and started scolding us. No one knew why we had to close our eyes, so it was really awkward. After scolding us, he starts class and then he yells out, Who wants to answer? I know, Masaya, answer the question. And Masaya says, I can't see the board with my eyes closed. <laughs> the teacher lost it right there and the class became a free period. Naoki is laughing like he's having a good time. <laughs> I'll tell this one. You told Naoki a funny story about an embarrassing moment of your own. <laughs> really? Oh man, that's hilarious. Naoki's overcome with laughter. <laughs> hey, Naoki, Omogus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like it's been a while since I laughed. Naoki's expression looks gentle. Don't you gossiping mom say anything. That child, remember? The liquor stores. Kanishi san's son, right? <sighs> Their daughter was killed. Poor thing. A psychic on TV said that their ancestors committed some sin. What? Wait. Wait a minute. Hold on. I know, I know we here in the US can't talk. Like we have so many flat earthers and like all kinds of like people that believe all kinds of weird shit. But a psychic on TV, Japan, what the fuck? Who actually unironically, like, d okay, okay. I don't want to judge anybody. I heard their store faces the Northeast and that's what's bringing in all the bad luck. But that boy looks cheerful. You'd figure he'd would be sad. You just can't win with these stupid, <laughs> stupid, stupid people. Oh, why are you so sad? You should live a life that's meaningful. Oh, but now you're happy? Well, then you should be sad. What? That's pretty cold of him. Siblings close in age aren't that friendly to each other. My son and daughter are, oh, I wonder why. I should say more about you. Hmm. Naoki is biting his lip. I'll go tell them off. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'll go tell them off. No, it's okay. They're not worth your time. It looks like Naoki cheered up a bit. Those roving eyes are always around somewhere. I'm used to it, though. It seems like they're not satisfied unless I look like a victim. That's why it's been so long since I've talked to anyone about stupid things and just laughed. It's fun. Naoki is smiling cheerfully and you feel that your relationship with Naoki has grown still deeper. All right. Huh, I'm sorry. I probably made you feel uneasy, huh? Let's go home. I'll see you again. You parted ways with Naoki and went home. Okay. Okay. Hey, Naoto! Are you feeling better now? Oh. Yes, thanks to all of you. Wonderful. I'd like to thank you once again for what happened. Don't mention it. But hey, your uniform. Mm-hmm. Huh? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, that. 
After contemplating the matter, I went with what I've been wearing thus far. There's no need for you to... Aww. Hey, it's the Detective Prince. <laughs> Rumor-loving student. That's no Prince. I heard he's a she. And the knowledgeable student. Oh, opened his big fat mouth. Mm. Huh? Y you serious? If he's a she, then... Uh, oh, crap! Uh, kind of disappointed. But then again, there's something neat about it. Oh, so neat. Yeah, if you look at it a certain way, doesn't she seem pretty cool? Glad we spend time for those characters to get the commentary My, my. In. Rumor spread so quickly. We're on your side. Thank you. Aww. But it doesn't bother me at all. There's no need to worry on my behalf. So please, treat me as you did before. Okay. That aside, I'd like to discuss the case with you all. We would too. Yes. We're dealing with a kidnap and murder case perpetrated by someone lurking in this very town. Yep. And it isn't over yet. All right. Let's go over the finer points after school. Yes. Theory time. Let's go. First, I heard the doorbell ring. Okay. But when I opened the front door, I saw no one there. Mm. Just as alarm bells sounded in my mind, someone grabbed me roughly from behind and covered my mouth with something. Ooh, interesting. A two-person angle here. I hadn't thought about that. Hmm, interesting. Immediately afterward, I was put into something like a sack and most likely carried on the culprit's shoulder. Okay. Wow, how could you remember all that? Genius brain. Naoto is a big fan of Senku from Dr. Stone. They love counting. The culprit seems to have used a chemical to incapacitate me, but luckily I wasn't completely unconscious. Oh shit. I had been expecting a trick along those lines, so I was somewhat prepared. Wait, did Naoto, like, build up an immunity to Iocane powder or some shit? Like... And of course, I was desperate to gather as much information as I could. No wonder you're an ace detective! Yeah. That ain't something to be proud of. You are too damn calm about all this. But it's okay. We're here Judging now. By their actions and body type, I'd yep. say the culprit is definitely a man. Yep. And there's I heard a no conversations possibility. or voices, oh. so I believe he is acting alone. So maybe there was some kind of persona power of some kind that was able to... Because I'm still, hmm, not necessarily acting alone, though, based on the doorbell thing. It's after that that things get murky. Yeah. I felt a single impact, which I assume is when I was thrown inside the TV. Okay. But the time from kidnapping to that point seemed too short. It was a matter of minutes. Whoa. Whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> See, that's the thing. The killer is working with someone else that's lugging around a TV for them. Has to be it. <laughs> so you were immediately thrown inside the TV after being kidnapped. Mm-hmm. Oh, could there have been a TV on the side of the road? Oh, Regrettably, that's... my memory from there on is a blur. Yeah, that's probably not what we're thinking about, Chie, but um, I like that you're contributing. I see. But man, the killer came right up to the door and rang the bell? That's just crazy. Mm. I finally understand why you all testified that you couldn't recall much of what happened. Mm -hmm. Such a bizarre experience with mental and physical fatigue on top of it. It's only natural to be confused. And going by the surrounding circumstances, my kidnapping and everyone else's were near identical. Okay. There is no question that the culprit is the same in each case. Yep. So, that Mitsuo boy who said he killed King Moron. Right, that was the only thing he did. Everything makes sense now. I can't say for sure until I gather more concrete evidence. But Mitsuo Kubo's only victim was Mr. Moraoka. Yeah! It was a copycat killing that mimicked the true culprit's method. Awesome. No wonder King Moron's death broke the pattern in so many ways. The question remains, though, as to how Kubo learned of that world. How do we know Kubo wouldn't have necessarily known about that through just the Midnight Channel? Maybe they just watched, maybe just watched the Midnight Channel in general. That's it! That's what was bothering me! 
Mitsuo could enter the TV, right? Then why didn't he kill King Moron that way? Oh, shit. I believe he didn't understand the other world as well as the true culprit. Or are they implying that the culprit put, put him up to it? Even though I can now enter it myself, it wouldn't occur to me to use it for murder. Oh, no, no, that would be a loose end, and then, then they would have to kill Mitsuo. And remember, the previous corpses left no sign that their deaths had anything to do with the other world. Mm -hmm. After Kubo became wanted, leaving him with nowhere to run, he probably thought for the first time, what if I put my entire body into the TV? Mm -hmm. The bizarre condition of the corpses that caused such commotion is probably because they died on the other side. Yeah. It's a simpler explanation than figuring out why the killer would risk disposing of the bodies in such a way. Which means their inexplicable condition of being hung on a foggy day wasn't due to the culprit making a statement. Whoa, wait. Much of our speculation could be tested if we could ask Kubo in person. However, I've unfortunately been taken off the investigation. Okay, okay, okay. And I highly doubt that the police will believe any of this. They wouldn't admit that it wasn't Mitsuo in the first place. Yeah, yeah. Once you've said something on TV, it's not easy to admit you were wrong. Yeah, you know that I believe Rize. the primary cause of my dismissal was because I raised that possibility to them. Sure. The police won't readily concede that they made false charges. All the more so if the accused is a juvenile. Yeah, you'd have to convince them that Mitsuo was trying to play them intentionally and get him caught on some kind of, like, recording or something. In fact, the overwhelming sentiment with the police force is to end this case with his arrest. Hmm. Even if it's possible there's another killer? Uh, they probably haven't like entirely dropped that that's why that's why dojima still kind of suspects us a little bit like he still see, he feels something that's not entirely right so there's that yeah those dickheads i had a feeling that would be the case not that i trusted him in the first place but uh naoto if you were that calm when it happened to you couldn't you have you know what? i'm not saying you should have caught him but isn't it kind of sad for an ace detective to go down that easily? Um... I don't think um, that's fair. To tell yeah. you the truth, I was really scared. Yeah, because you know a killer is coming for you, but you have to let them take you, knowing that they won't probably kill you immediately. I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay, Naoto. It can't be helped. Oh. None of us could resist the culprit either. Don't forget, Naoto-kun is younger than us, and she's a girl. Oh yeah, that's true. I keep forgetting when I see her talking like this. You Aww. know, Naoto? What is it? You're pretty awesome. You got balls. <laughs> for a girl. <laughs> okay, okay, Yosuke, okay. Regardless. Yeah, moving on. <laughs> I have no doubt that the culprit will continue with his attacks. So do we try to recreate the same situation that Naoto did, but with everybody waiting in ambush? I feel like at this point, there's a possibility that the killer will reach out to us. Because if Naoto survives here, the killer is going to be very worried about being potentially outed soon. I think the killer is probably going to be like, you guys better back the fuck off or I'm going to insert, you know, fill in the blank here. Naoto is a very serious threat to them. We can only watch and wait for him to make the next move. Mm -hmm. But this is no longer a mere job or someone else's affair. I want to know the truth of why we were targeted. Yeah. Please allow me to join your effort. Yes, absolutely. Of course. Thank you very much. I'll do my best, leader. Naoto, join the group. She'll definitely be a strong asset in solving the case. Investigation team rank up. Yeah, rank eight, baby. Since I'm the king of the geniuses, I knew it would work out this way. Yes, you're the star of the show, Teddy. Ta-da! Now Chan's glasses. Okay, nice, nice. That, that, that's something. Thank you. Aw. 
They told me about you, Teddy. Yeah. I can sympathize with your drive to find yourself. Oh. If I may help in any way, let me know. Oh, there we go. Wow. What a nice girl. The true culprit is still at large. For now, you'll just have to wait for them to make the next move. Ugh. Um, you know the photo you found before? Oh, yeah, yeah. I gave it back to Dad. Okay. He looked happy and smiled at me. Good, Big good. Big bro, I love my dad. Yeah, he's not the best dad, but he's trying, and he loves and cares about you, too. Yeah. <laughs> what about me? <laughs> yeah, he loves you, too. <laughs> I think so, too. No. Smiling cheerfully. Dad didn't forget about how we used to pick flowers at Samagawa. Right. He smiled at me and said, you remember too? Aww. Dad loves mom. Mm -hmm. I feel sorry for him losing someone he loves. Oh, she's so mature at these times, you know? It's like, oh. He still has you. She's not lost. I feel sorry for you too. No, oh, I'm, I'm gonna go, he, he still has you, yeah. Yeah, I won't go anywhere. <laughs> Nanako smiles vigorously. Hmm. I'm glad to be dad's daughter. Oh, Nanako is smiling so happily. Oh, we just get a happy, just happy, good, just sweet time. Through that smile, you feel your relationship has grown even deeper. Oh. That was wonderful. Oh wow, we're rank nine already? It's your turn to talk. Oh, oh. It's just about Nanako's bedtime. What will you do? Uh, well, um, yeah, I'll talk to her, yeah. Yay! Okay, we decided to talk for just a little while longer. It's getting late, so you put Nanako to bed and went to your own room. Excuse oh. me. Now, do. Do you have time after school today? D yeah, yeah. Did something happen? No. Rather, I'd like to have a doctor examine Teddy. Wait. <laughs> We're gonna actually find out what Teddy is. A doctor? <laughs> you mean a vet? <laughs> a vet? <laughs> no. The, the normal kind, actually. If you're free, I've scheduled a checkup for him after school today. A thorough physical examination might be a good first step in figuring out what Teddy is. We're gonna have that mo- Well, Teddy is Teddy! <laughs> and I thought it might be a good idea for the rest of us to get checkups as well. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, is there a possibility that when we were kidnapped, something was done to us? Hmm. We should see if the fog over there or the power we've gained have had mm -hmm. any negative effects on our health. Big brain, Naoto. It might not lead to anything, but this is a really good idea. Since you all have been active on the other side far longer than I have, you should definitely be examined. Okay. Negative effects? D don't drop scary stuff on us like it's nothing. It's not nothing. This is her, her being serious. No, Skay, come on. Yeah, I never even thought about that. I've arranged to have Kanji-kun and Rise-san looked at as well. Well done. Wow, you're on the ball about all this. Are you sure you're not an adult? <laughs> Her height's a big giveaway, though. <laughs> well, I'll see you all after school. We're still getting to know you now, Toe. Don't, don't, don't take anything they say too seriously. We're, we're, you're awesome. We're, we're glad to have you in the party, you know. You'll be going to the hospital after school at Naoto's recommendation. Everyone underwent a thorough physical at the hospital Naoto recommended. That was just an ordinary checkup. Yep. Huh, I was kind of looking forward to getting into some gigantic machine and being spun around. <clears throat> was there really a point to this? The doctors look confused too. Well, confused is not a good thing. Oh, they're back. Let's see. I'm very sorry for the wait. I'm very sorry for the wait. How did I not see that coming? So did they find out anything about Teddy? They did indeed. They found out that they can't tell anything about him. Nothing at all or they just, he's a normal human? 
I even had them take an x-ray, but nothing came up on it. Wait, what? Nothing, no bones? No matter how many times they tried, it would always be too blurry to read. Oh no. <laughs> I have a really random prediction, but I think Teddy's gonna die. <laughs> Teddy is like our helper for the the duration of this journey, and when the by the time the journey's over, Teddy won't be needed anymore. So Teddy will be dead by then. A visual examination and standard palpations indicated that he seems perfectly normal. Wait, so he is? Wait, so stuff did come up. Since the machine could be malfunctioning, they told oh. me to try another hospital if we're still worried about him. Ah, I see. I felt bad for making them go through all this. So he is different. Mm-hmm. Oh my, what should I do? And nothing, Teddy, you're they fine. took a look at everything inside me. <laughs> she just said they couldn't see anything on the x-ray, you dork. But at least they didn't find anything wrong with them, right? Well, Man, we know as much well. about Teddy as we do those personas and shadows. Yeah. Oh yeah, I tried looking them up at the library and on the net. Persona means something like another personality and I think they listed shadow under the related terms yeah shadows are shadows I think there's something that comes out of people um I can't really explain Teddy just sit down you're okay you don't need to I performed my own research after the incident it would feel kind of meta if they actually got into some Jungian philosophy and psychology here persona and shadow are common psychological terms. Mm -hmm. Of course, the ones we are familiar with don't quite fit those definitions. True. This true. is what was written in an unofficial project document that I happened to come across. A shadow is suppressed power, and when controlled by one's ego, it becomes a persona. It becomes a persona? What does that mean? They're they're basically the same thing? Well, then again, all those shadows kind of. we beat the shit out of did turn into personas. Yeah. Who cares about the details? It doesn't matter what they are. If they get in our way, I'll crush them. Still, I couldn't find any information on how they're related to the other world. <sighs> There's so much stuff about us that we don't have a clue about. There's some things we do know, though. Oh, God, Teddy, what is it now? Mm-hmm. I got a bunch of awesome data with me. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing that I'm the only one who had personal details shown to the world, so... Oh, boy. Ta-da! Nowadays, information wants to be free. <laughs> Therefore, I'll break the ice by oh my announcing gosh. the results of everyone's physical <gasps> exams. <gasps> Oh, Teddy, no, no, no. What? No, you won't! Give him to me now! Get him, G.A., get him! Ooh! <laughs> first place in the shortest legs division is... Huh, who would have guessed? Uh, Yosuke. It's not me, is it? Hey, what kind of things did they examine It is anyway? Yosuke! Look, if you're gonna blab at all, you might as well tell us the girls' measurements. Ah! <laughs> Rise is the only one that wasn't shocked about that. Rise was like, I don't mind. My measurements have been on the internet for like, you know, three years. Sure, go right ahead. Yep. My profile's <laughs> been public knowledge for ages. <laughs> oh, but my bus size is two centimeters smaller than they print. My agency insisted. Wow, of course I... <laughs> no, don't say mine. Aw, I bet guys won't care what size you are, senpai. And having modestly sized breasts like yours would definitely make it easier to wear a kimono. Oh my god, Rise! Rise, no! <laughs> what? What? Oh yeah, Nalto Kun's in here too, huh? Um, let's see. Nalto Kun's is. Oh my gosh. Huh? Is this for real? Wait, isn't this measured wrong? Anyways, <sighs> the important thing is that according to the examination results, nothing's wrong with our health. Oh. So we won't be needing these anymore. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go shred them. Good call, Naoto. 
Ah, uh, well, thank goodness everyone's healthy. Y you're right. Let's go home. Yeah, let's just say the wrapping is doing work. After yeah, all yeah, that, exactly. they found out nothing about me. I wonder what I really am. Oh. Yeah, we'll find out together. Yeah. Thanks, Sensei. Hmm. Yeah, now Toe's using a bee holder. Thanks, dress up darling. Yes, exactly. Petty is gazing at you with gratitude in his eyes. <gasps> He's gonna rank up. Hey. Whoa, it's freezing. Oh, winter is coming. Why are we getting together on the roof on a day like this? We gotta put our brains together. Yeah, what's this urgent business about, Yosuke-senpai? Oh no, Yosuke called the meeting, never mind. <laughs> Seriously, I was busy handing out flyers at Juness. Hey, I saw you hitting on girls just outside the school gate. <laughs> was there some kind of progress in the case? I need you guys. You have to help me. You're the only ones I can rely on. Oh no, here we go. <laughs> can you please keep this weekend open? Wait. Committing time? Multiple days worth of time? What's your game, little man? This weekend? Does this have anything to do with that event at the Inaba police station that's been canceled? What are you talking about? Yeah, what are you talking about? The idol Konami Mashita was scheduled to be the honorary chief this Sunday. Hmm. Kahneman is coming all the way out to the boonies? I guess so. So she's taking on jobs like that already. I have been seeing a lot of her on TV lately. I didn't know she belonged to the same agency as you, Risei-chan. A potential new target for the killer, maybe? I mean, if she's coming to Inaba now, the agency's obviously trying to use all the fuss about me to their favor. So what's the big deal about that being canceled, Yosuke Senpai? Oh, we need to set him up with her. There was going to be a big sale at Juness to take advantage of the event, but now it's down the tubes. Ah. It's not a joke. The police took forever to decide on canceling the event. My dad's really in a fix now. Uh-oh, uh -oh. He worked so hard to put this whole thing together and I can't stand to see him like this. I can't just let it go. Oh. I heard that the police couldn't prepare for the event because I had gone missing. All right. I'm sorry. This is my fault. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. No, it's not your fault. Don't blame yourself. But yeah, it does seem like that's what happened. So what do you okay, need? So you called us up here. What do you want us to do about it? From the way it sounds, I gotta say, I don't think we can be much help. I want everyone to help me with a bunch of different tasks. Okay, um, like what? Risa-san, well, if you could, you know, do an event at Juness. Wow, it's asking you a lot. you want me to substitute for Konami? So there's no way? <sighs> is it really that bad? I don't know. I may be his son, but I'm still only a part-timer. Yeah. But... My dad's being awfully nice for some reason. I think it's possible that he might get fired if this thing falls through. Oh, shoot. Okay. If that happens, I might have to transfer schools again. <laughs> Seriously, what am I going to do if that happens? Oh, buddy. I can hear the desperation in his voice. Singing and handshakes only. <laughs> no autographs and nothing that I can't do as a high school student. Otherwise, I'll get in trouble. Okay. And I'll only do it if you all get on stage with me. Yes. Yes. Okay, I'm in. I'm in. Absolutely. I'm in. What? Wait. I'm no idol. This is going to be amazing, Chie. Don't, don't you dare. Don't you dare try to back out of this. We're Maybe all going on stage together. People came to try to recruit me to be an idol. Me too. I already have an exclusive contract with Juness. Mm-hmm. I think you guys are worrying about the right things here. Uh, it's okay, Kanji. Just let him do that. But if you're gonna sing, what are we supposed to do on stage? I need a band, of course. I'll make this very clear. <gasps> yes, yes, I yes. can't use pre-recorded tracks. Yep, it has to be new music. Whoa, whoa, there's no way we can pull off something like that. Yes, we can. I have some experience playing the keyboard. 
My grandfather suggested that I take piano lessons when I was younger. All right. I have one that I can bring as well. Oh my God, who's gonna sing? I'm so ready. It's probably gonna be Rise, but. You're up for this? Who's gonna play, play the guitar and shit? Chie on the drums. Oh my gosh, Chie on the drums. This incident is a result of my actions, after all. I will do whatever I can to help. Naoto, thanks. If it's music you need, I have a guitar. Never really played it, though. All right, that's oh, fine. Wait. I accidentally bought a bass once. I think it's in storage. Okay, okay, okay. How do you accidentally buy something like that? I bet you just thought it was another guitar. <laughs> could be, could be, yeah. Hmm. I should have some kind of musical instrument at my place for dinner parties and such. Sure. Some kind of instrument? Oh boy. <laughs> then it's decided. Yes, yes. I'll look for a song I can sing that can use a band arrangement. You guys get instruments and find a place to practice. Got it. Try to pick an easy one, okay? Okay. All right. Now that this is happening, I'm getting fired up about it. Let's go ask if we can borrow the music room at school. And now we get to go join the music club, even though we picked the uh, drama club. It's all coming back around. You have no choice in this game. It's all predetermined. That would actually be funny, though. So, what are we going to do with these? Yeah, if, like, we pick... If you pick music club, then you put on a play with Rize. But if you pick uh, drama club, then you put on a band with Rize. I just grabbed whatever I could find that wasn't being used by the symphonic band. All right. Damn, they have the goats in there in the background there. What is that? <laughs> it's a gong. It's a gong, yep. Very tiny well, one, but duh. it's a gong. I'm pretty sure he meant to ask, what is that doing here? <laughs> I thought Chie might want to play that. You know, it sounds kind of Chinese-ish. Oh my god. <laughs> um, I don't think that's gonna really matter in this case. Chie's gonna kick the shit out of that gong. <laughs> Yosuke, try holding these! Alright. Huh? Yes! Yes! I see. This is coming together. Yeah! You do look like that when you're fighting. <laughs> Try summoning your persona while you're holding those. <laughs> Alright. Persona! Wait, I can't summon it here. I'll choose this then. Alright, tambourine. <laughs> look, look! Isn't this like my fan? Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> I think she's convinced we're playing for a dinner party at the inn. Come on, we need stuff like guitars instead of little backup instruments like these. Yeah, but you can't all clash. Hey, I'll play the guitar. Why don't you take the bass? I can at least teach you a little bit. Okay, okay. Master, I have to do this, yes. Whoa, I never thought I'd hear you call me that. <laughs> Check out these moves. I've got mad air guitar skills. <laughs> well then, since you two and Natsu kun have decided what to play, okay, let's put the drums, Kanji yeah. on drums. Sure, sure. Hey, why don't I get to pick? Yeah, yeah, you should get to pick. If you're up front, it'll look like a metal band. Well, well, I think you'd be good at the drums. You're always hitting and stomping on things, after all. Hey. How does that make any sense? Yeah. Then I will take over all the charming percussion accoutrement. Hey, baby, I lay down the passionate beats that flow from my soul. <laughs> uh, so that leaves Yukiko and me. Yep. You two. Um, how about the chorus? There is a part for that. Oh, okay. Backup singers. See? Oh no. No, 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 can do. We'll hold something. Let's see, what looks easy? <laughs> they ended up being the backup singers. Yep. <laughs> oh, wait. They do not have easy oh, instruments. Doesn't this at least look like a band? Wait. This looks totally like a band. But Chie and Yukiko did not pick easy instruments. This is going to sound horrible. Oh, no. I don't think it looks bad at all. Yeah, you look great, but... 
Oh no. It's not doing anything. Yeah, those instruments aren't easy. Is this thing broken? I'm blowing, but the air goes right through. That's how it is for everyone when they start out. Anyway, we don't have much time, so let's start practicing. <laughs> What's with all the tadpoles on this paper? Oh no. Oh, this is gonna be so bad. Oh yeah, I don't know how to read music. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, we're- I guess I'm gonna have to transfer school We're screwed. Back. We're screwed. We're so screwed. You all practice on your own until it gets dark. Sad to meet again tomorrow. All right. Once more from the top. Let's go, band. One, two, three, four. <laughs> that wasn't me, I think. <laughs> oh, they're bad. That wasn't me either. I mean, I can't get any sound at all out of this. They're bad. A hip and young audience yearns for the element of surprise in music as well. Yeah, it was Teddy. A bizarre sound suddenly rings out. An overturning of the expected cliches found in today's sound. You get it? No, no. Oh, I get it. <laughs> that means Teddy did it, doesn't it? <laughs> Kanji's biting his voice. just like, oh, yeah. It means you did it, you little bastard. <laughs> huh? That reaction overturned my expectations. Why don't we take a break? We've been at this since morning. Mm, good call, good call. Good idea. My fingers are all stiff. Nice follow-up now, Chan. I think I'm falling for you. <laughs> Let's just ignore this bear. I've been trying. I've been trying since, like, since the bear was introduced into the game. Are we really going to manage this? I'm starting to get the feeling that it's impossible no matter what we do. I mean, you're trying to start it's a band in a week. Time. I know. That's the story of this whole game, am I right? Everyone is silent. It ain't over till it's over. Yeah. Sensei, I, I want to play in a band. If it's over, then it's over for Yosuke too. That means it's over for me. And I can't bear to face that. <laughs> I don't want to know that you're only doing this because you're selfish. But you've got a point. If we give up, it all ends there. All right, everybody. That's right. Everything would have been for nothing if we give up now. Yeah. Real brawl doesn't begin until you got your back to a wall. All right. Uh, we're not talking about a brawl here. Mm-hmm. I'll do it too. Yeah. It's not just about Yosuke now. I'll simply feel angry at myself if I give up. Let's go. Don't worry, Yosuke Senpai. I agreed to do this, so I'll do it. I didn't say anything pathetic like, I'll do what I can. Yeah. I'm going to get a huge crowd no matter what. And they will go home satisfied. Please, I just need your help to do it. Wow. Now that's how a pro delivers a team-boosting speech. That's true, that's true. <laughs> well then, should we resume our practice? Yes. All right, let's do this. Let's go. <laughs> I did it! I did it! So this isn't broken after all. <laughs> you can made a sound. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's try putting your music together and I'll sing along. Okay. Well, wait a sec. Can't we get a little more practice before we try doing that stuff? No, we need to do this now. Playing for the real reset. I mean, I'm all for that. What are you don't talking think about of it that? like that. Yeah, yeah. Play I'm for yourself. I'm seeing how hard you're trying, and I don't want to just sit and watch you practice without me anymore. Here goes. One, two, three, four. <laughs> the 
there was no trumpet or that, saxophone in there. Didn't that sound pretty good? That sounded great, but my favorite part about that, there wasn't a single... After the trumpet and the saxophone did, like, something in, like, the first two seconds, they didn't make a single sound for the rest of it. <gasps> that was actual music! Yes, yes. Yeah, it felt good. It seems there's hope after all. There is indeed hope. The band has practiced hard and overcome many obstacles <laughs> that dared face them. But now is their time to truly shine. Teddy, you're not the narrator. Shut the fuck up. All they have to do is discard whatever remaining fear holds them back, and a lifetime of public adoration awaits. Hell no. We've already been on a TV show. Oh, damn. A midnight one. Yukiko, why, why'd you, no, Yukiko, why'd you do that? I was discarding my clothes more than I was discarding my fear. No, no. For me, it was like discarding my public image anyway. You, you guys, you guys, that's a way that you could build confidence in yourself, that you've already come through that struggle. This is nothing compared to that, right? Right? C come on, everyone. Let's cheer up, okay? Yeah. And you. You have a bunch of stuff lined up, but you're still only playing the tambourine. Wait, who are you talking to? Oh. <laughs> Haven't you heard the phrase, a clever bear conceals his claws? I'm gonna play a special little bear formance of my own and charm all the girls. That sings about a hawk, not a bear. And don't even think about it. We don't have the skills to ad lib. Oh my god. Do you understand me? We're doing this exactly like we practiced. Got it? Let's go, Yosuke! Call him out! I like seeing Yosuke fired up and passionate. It's when Yosuke is like, like kind of being like, yeah, I'm trying to be cool, dude, you know? I'm cool. Then he goes off into brusque. But when Yosuke brings the hammer down, goes into manager Yosuke, where he's dealing with like a whole Walmart to himself, basically. He gets things going. If you don't, then I'll make sure you pay for all the topsicles you've eaten during breaks at work. Oh shit, let's go Yosuke, yes! Just like we practiced! <laughs> there it is, there it is. <laughs> well, let's take it from the top, one more time. Keep up that energy that we had before. All right. Nodders. Everyone's hard work is slowly taking shape. You practice late into the night for the actual performance tomorrow. All right. Crap, the crowd's a lot bigger than I expected. Oh yeah, everyone's got the leather on, let's go. Don't say stuff like that! You're making me even more nervous! Uh, are costumes okay? I mean, I mean, they're just our normal school uniforms. Even worse than the winter ones. Nah, y'all look good, y'all look good. What else could we have done? It's not like we have any costumes. The clothes we've been wearing all summer won't work as costumes, and since we'll be changing wardrobes tomorrow, it works out. Oh crap. I can't stop my legs from shaking. Kanji, you got this, bro. You'll be hitting the skins more than a bare knuckle boxer. Uh, you, you shut your stupid bear trap. I don't need to hear this. Bear trap? Kanji, okay. That was good. You've been on TV before, right, now, Tokun? Aren't you used to this? You haven't said a word, though. The last time I played for a crowd was a piano recital when I was young. Nice. Now Toe's saying young rather than younger. That's 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 a nice little character detail. Doing an interview on TV is much easier. Mm. Even if I make a mistake, I'm the only one who gets embarrassed by it. <laughs> yeah, what is Teddy doing with his hands? He's like, you gotta tickle their balls a little bit, yeah. You're saying doing interviews is easy? That's crazy too. No, no. We got oh, this. I can't take this much longer. Don't you get nervous too? Song's been acting up, I'm screaming on the inside. I'm fine. You really are something. <laughs> now that's our sensei. He's got big brass balls. I knew Teddy had balls on his mind with his hands like that. And when I say balls, I mean... <laughs> we get it, we get it. It's a figure of speech. We don't care. Shut up. Wait, who huh? was that? Did someone just... Who was that? Everyone, can you gather around for a second? Wait, who was that? Y yeah, got it. Okay, team. Your hearts are all racing, right? 
So is mine. But that's the power behind a live performance. Don't think about doing everything exactly right. Yep. The crowd's here to have fun, so we need to have fun first. Let's go, Rize. Rize, John. Yeah. When I say who's ready, you say we are, okay? All right. Be thankful for your fans, your friends, and yourself. This is a full-blown, one-time-only performance. Now, who's ready? We are! Fired up and ready to go! Let's do this. Now, listen up. We're sticking to how we practiced, okay? Here goes. Here we go. Yeah. You got yourself behind a door deep inside your heart. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is too cool! Oh no! No! Encore! No! Watch the game be like, you don't have enough courage, understanding, expression, and knowledge in order to be able to do this. They're asking for an encore! Yeah, that means we killed it. But we can't do an encore. We don't have another song. Oh yeah, I, I didn't think about that. <laughs> Do the song again? There are only two things we can do. Ignore them and leave, or play the same song over again. Very, very logical. Yes. Yes. Maybe we can have Risa explain our situation and they'll go easy on us and let us replay that song. There's that neon... I saw that guy before. Neon blue green guy again. What's going on? Oh, is Teddy's improv skills about to actually come in clutch here? Hey, Teddy? Teddy? <laughs> yeah! Crowd surf! This is the best part of being a live performer! Oh my god! <laughs> Stupid Teddy. We can't play without him. Yes, we can. Hey, hey! Why don't we all dive into the crowd? They might just carry us out of here and we can escape this awkward situation. Oh, sh sure. Stage dive? Yes. Yes. Hey, don't sound so excited. <laughs> GA, what was that? What was that? <laughs> Actually, if all seven of us jump in, there'd be trouble. Go one at a time. <laughs> it just keeps bouncing. Oh, my God. Then what are we going to do? Do we have any other way out? If you want to do it that much, then just the guys do it. Sure. Uh, all right. I'll show you what it means to be a man. Oh, no. Oh, no. Kanji, you're so big, Wait, though. Are you idiot? Oh, no. Oh, no. They just dodged out of the way. Huh? <laughs> Well, the reason why they jumped out of the way of some of us is because we jumped at the same time. But also because of our instruments. You don't stage, di stage dive with your instruments, you dumbasses. I didn't know it was possible to stand on your own face. <laughs> oh, that was awesome, though.
You and your friends have become legends among your peers. Enough people have gathered at Juness that you would consider this mission accomplished. At least, so you tell yourself. Now, please take a look at the second page of the handout. It's about Napoleon. Napoleon went on many military campaigns and needed something very specific. Napoleon had these made. Kubara, would you stand up, please? What did Napoleon have invented? Um... Well, definitely not the bottom two. Did he invent one of these? Glass jars makes more sense than cans. But I don't know. Napoleon was around the turn of the 19th century. Like around 1805 and stuff like that. So I think it's gonna be glass jars then? Yeah? You gave the answer you think is correct. Ho ho, you knew well. That's right, he made people invent glass jars. Napoleon had a, held a contest with a lot of with lots of rewards money to reward money to whoever could come up with a way to preserve food on long campaigns. Oh, that makes sense. Nicolas Appert sub submitted his method for canning food in 1804, paving the way for the food preservation industry. It's a common misconception, but Napoleon was not involved with the actual invention of metal cans. The first canned foods were kept in glass jars. Tin or iron cans were invented in 1810 as an alternative to heavier jars. That makes sense in terms of the metals, yeah. An actual can opener, however, wouldn't be invented for another 45 years. Before the invention of the can opener, soldiers would use bayonets to cut open cans or smash them with rocks. <laughs> can you imagine? Can you imagine? For 40 years, human beings are like, yes, we store food in these very handy jars. That when you open them, you're like, smash! <laughs> and you break them over a rock. And you're like, ah. And then someone comes along and goes, but what if you just opened them with like a little special device? And they're like, we've been doing this for two generations, youngster. Why do you think we would change right now? You youngsters have it so easy trying to save resources and be all efficient and shit. No, just be a, just be a real, you know, uh, whatever, and just smash it over a rock. Bunga bunga. <laughs> Juness Food Court. Oh. Oh. Hi, 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 Teddy. Oh, yes. Hangout time with everybody. Hey, greetings to you. Hello. Greetings to you. Hey. Looks like you're having fun. Yo. Yo. Wow, everyone's here. Yeah, nice. So many people. Oh. Why did everyone come here? Studying. Exam study group. Mm hmm Times like these, I'm jealous of Teddy. It seems like a dream that we had a live concert here only yesterday. That was so much fun. I didn't think the crowd would get that excited. But enough of that. Let's start with proving the trigonometric identities. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, jumping straight into math? Ours is the section on trig functions, right? The one where we find the area of a triangle given two sides and... Huh? You find the area of a triangle with... You know, that thing. <laughs> um... Base by height by two. Yes. If you don't mind, shall I teach you? No. Oh, are you as smart as I thought? Could you, uh, lend me a hand too? Oh, um, I wouldn't know where to begin with second year's subjects. Oof, get wrecked, Yosuke. Ah, uh, what's up with that? Useless after all. Hey, hey, hey. Don't call me useless. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think I've figured out what buttons to push to get Naoto-kun riled up. You're pretty cute when you're angry. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> That's it. I quit. This just ain't my thing. To hell with the exams. It's time for my animal crackers. <laughs> to hear him say, it's time for my animal crackers. Unironically, this guy's so fucking happy to have his animal crackers. He's like, hell yeah. I'm gonna eat the shit out of these animal crackers. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Such good voice acting. Oh my god. Can I have some too? I want to find the penguin. 
Hands off the penguin. It's mine. <laughs> Forget it. I can't think. George Juness. Teddy says he doesn't know who he is. <laughs> That's so weird. Oh, yeah. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Careful about talking about this. My stuff. life on this side is really fun. Teddy. But the more I feel that way, the more I want to know who I really am. Teddy. I've surfed the net, read manga, watched TV. I even went to a place called the library. But I still can't find anything about me. Dude, I'd be surprised if you did. Yeah. Still, I'm starting to get an idea. Teddy's gonna say, I'm a homunculus. An idea? Whoa, isn't this your first time sharing a theory about yourself? Yeah. I lived in that other world. That world was my reality. Uh huh. But now, I have a feeling that it was born from the minds of people on this side. Right. And over in that place, filled with shadows, I think I was some sort of special being. A special being? I don't remember anything from back then, though. Okay. Maybe it's that amnesia thing I read about in a book the other day. Huh. It's true. There are some aspects of the other world that make it seem as though it's rooted in human thoughts. Still, there's no point in applying the principles of logic and deduction to a place like that. But okay. the fact that you existed in such a world from the beginning adds credibility to your theory. Mm -hmm. There is little doubt that you are a special being on the other side. If you yourself know nothing about it, perhaps it's true that part of your memory is missing. Not because I- How do you have your memory missing? Is that why dad doesn't love me? <laughs> Tell me, what is the earliest memory you can call to mind? It's from a while ago. I've always lived there as far as I could tell. Okay. Then it started to get noisy, so when I happened to bump into Sensei and Yosuke, I asked them to do something about it. I see. If you've always been on that side, you'd have no sense of time or days. Nanako is so confused. Oh, that's right! Nanako-chan's completely clueless about all this. I'm sorry, Nanako-chan. We didn't mean to leave you out. Hey! I think Teddy must be a king. Oh. I read in a story that a king was all alone inside a forest because of a bad guy's curse. Okay. Isn't that what happened to you, Teddy? A king? Well, when you put it that way, it sounds about right. <laughs> Teddy? A king? <laughs> I can see him wearing a cape. <laughs> I actually could too, with a little crown. Sheesh, Yukiko. You go into laughing fits in front of anyone now. Can we not talk about Teddy being a king? <laughs> huh? What's with that face? Teddy really was a king. There were all these other kings, too, and we all... Hey, he's talking about what happened at the club. Ah, uh, yes, and there was a great ranking of sorts. There was a little one that went around with a little shadow, fit just right in there. Quiet, you not in front of Nanako-chan. <laughs> Everyone left their seats to go buy drinks with Nanako. Am I really a king? Uh, maybe so. Could be. <laughs> if I'm a king, I'll get to smooch girls every day. Teddy is smirking. I have this fuzzy feeling that I'll find out sooner or later with your help, Sensei. Yes, that's that's possible. You sense Teddy's strong trust. Rank seven. Okay. I had fun at Juness. Ah! Ah! This is not a drill! This is not a drill! Repeat! Repeat! This is not a drill! Ah! Let's go, let's go. Nanako looks like she's not doing anything. We have Uriel. Our relationship will become closer soon. Let's spend the evening with Nanako. Yeah! Okay, yay! Nanako looks happy. Oh, yes! I got a phone call from Dad. He's coming home. Oh, okay, okay. Let's make dinner together, big bro. Yes! Yes! I've been looking at that fucking kitchen for so long! 
wanting to make food for these two! And now we're finally doing it! <laughs> yes! Yes! I was like, why can't I make food for them? Why? Why? It's because the game was wanting to have it happen with her. It's a reward you worked hard There's for. There's a lot to do today. Okay. Nanako is more cheerful than usual. This better be. I bought a bunch of dishes, pickled radish, and veggies at Juness. Wait, this is perfectly timed. We just spent a lot of time at Juness. Oh my god! Big bro, can you make a salad? I actually, on I actually IRL, Caleb, me, myself, in real life, I can make the bombest fucking salad. I make a, I make a really good salad. Holy shit. Yeah, I eat salad for breakfast. But it's dinner time right now. <laughs> Nanako looks at you puzzled. We have to start eating our vegetables from now on. Yeah. A well-balanced diet is important. Well said. Nanako confidently repeats this as if she's heard it from somewhere else. <laughs> My teacher said that families help each other. Oh, yes we do. Yes we do. After mom died, Dad and me have both been lonely. Oh, but, but, but I have Dad. Yeah, and and me. And I need and to me. do my best so Dad doesn't feel lonely either. Okay. You're my family too, so let's work hard together. Let's do it. Yeah. No. Oh. Nanako looks really happy. Oh, yeah. Yeah? I'm giving this to you. Oh, what? Family picture. Oh, it has Nanako and her parents in it. Dad made extra copies. Oh. You're family too, so you should have a family picture. Let's get a picture of you and me and Dad all together one day. <laughs> Yeah. I love you, big bro. Okay. You feel a warm sense of love from Nanako. You can feel a tight bond between yourself and Nanako. Are we not gonna show ourselves making the salad? This is so sweet. And we maxed out Nanako. Oh, There is justice in this world. Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a genuine bond. These genuine bonds shall be your eyes to see the truth. We bestow upon thee the ability to create Sorosha, the ultimate form of the Justice Arcana. <sighs> Alright. Ubara Kurimi has forged a bond that cannot be broken. Uh, we need to hurry or Dad will be home before we're done. Okay. You prepared dinner with Nanako. Keep this going. Keep this shit going. I'm home. Yes. Yes. Dojima. Dad, welcome home. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the, the voice acting from him. He's like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Like he's, he's barely like laughing with like, like, oh, y yeah. I made dinner with Big Bro today. We made salad and um, um, a bunch of other stuff. Oh, uh, I see. Good work, Nanako. Oh. Go wash your hands. Hurry, sit down. Uh, she's really cheerful. <laughs> I'm sure it's thanks to you. Dad, big bro, hurry, hurry. I got it, I got it. Let's eat then. <laughs> the three of you sat around the table and enjoyed each other's company. Ugh. The hill overlooking town. Kanji brought you here saying he wanted to talk someplace quiet. The other day I, I went to visit Dad's grave. Oh, it's the first time I went on my own. I had a lot to tell him. 
How was it? How was it? Well, I felt like I could finally face him. A little late, though. <laughs> oh. Kanji's smiling sadly. Dad told me something right before he died. If you're a man, you have to become strong. Felt like he was telling me I wasn't a real man. Pissed me off. Oh. So I changed my looks and pushed myself away from people. Fighting gangs, thinking I was protecting mom, trying to catch this killer. I thought all that was how I was becoming strong. That I was really making up for all the trouble I caused. I was drunk off my power. Oh. But that wasn't it. That ain't what dad meant. Yeah. I still don't really get what being strong means, but I'm gonna start by not lying to myself. Let's go. No more being scared of everyone, hiding my hobbies, staying away from people. Anytime, any place, I'm gonna bust right through as my own self. Hell yeah. That's the way to deal with that other me in the TV world. Let's go. As long as there's someone like that snot-nosed kid to accept me, I ain't afraid of nothing. Good for you. Sir, it's all thanks to you. Sir! Kanji's smiling gently. You felt Kanji's firm resolve. You feel your relationship with Kanji has grown yet deeper. Rank nine, baby, let's go. Your room. You brought Kanji here at his insistence. Sorry for barging in like this. I thought it'd be a good place. Okay. Oh, first though. Yeah. There's one more thing I figured out. What's that? Risei stopped by our store the other day. Okay. She said the dolls were cute, so I told her I made them. And she said that was creepy. Hey! Kind of stung, but I kept on showing her the other stuff I made. And in the end, she said, maybe you're an amazing guy after all. Okay. Pissed me off the way she said it, but that aside. Okay. I get it now. Yeah. This is what he was talking about. Yeah. Just been throwing in the towel all this time. Yeah. Of course no one could understand me. I've been keeping my distance out of fear. Yeah, oh! So I decided that I'd do things my way, no matter how tough. But it ain't just about hanging out with guys who understand you and telling the rest to get bent. Oh. Gotta make an effort if you want people to understand you. Yeah. I wasn't even trying. That's true, that's so good. Not just about my hobby, but like, when the police suspected me. Oh. It didn't even cross my mind to try to tell them my story. I let them think whatever they want. And because of that, you, Ma, and that kid all got dragged into it. Oh. I didn't put in the slightest effort to try and make them understand. It's easier for me to act tough. Kanji is smiling wryly. So from now on, I got two rules. Rule one, be myself. Rule two, get people to understand me. Fuck yeah, Kanji! Yes! Yes! You're growing up so well, oh my god. I want you to have this, senpai. You obtained cute strap. This thing's me being me. Okay. Now I can say it straight out. Huh? That other me is me. What? What? Oh, here we go, here we go! What's it look like now? Kanji's strong will that allowed him to accept and overcome his weakness has awakened his heart's true power. Kanji's persona has been reborn. Look at that mustache. Take Mikazuchi has been transfigured into Rokuten Mao. This? For reals? Yeah. I get it. So I've become a little stronger, huh? You're my hero, dude. And my best bud. Oh. <laughs> you can sense Kanji's straightforward feelings. You feel a tight bond between you and Kanji. Maxed out, baby. Let's go. Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a genuine bond. These genuine bonds shall be your eyes to see the truth. We bestow upon thee the ability to create Odin, the ultimate form of the Emperor Arcana. Odin? Has forged a bond that cannot be broken. 
So as far as getting other people to understand me, today I'm holding the Oven Mitt Puppets 101 class right here. Yes! Don't worry, even you can do it. It'll be real cute. Believe oh, me. Believe it. You spent more time than you planned with Kanji. It's gotten dark, so you said goodbye to Kanji. Oh? Nanako doesn't seem to be home. I'm home! Okay, okay. <laughs> Why did the game do that? Oh, welcome back. Hey, Nanako. There was a letter in the mailbox for you. Oh. The letter is addressed to Mr. Kuwabara Kurini. But the sender's name and address are nowhere to be found. Oh shit. Oh shit, y'all. Remember how I was saying earlier that the killer was probably gonna contact us? Oh no. And the music immediately plays. There's only one sentence printed. Don't rescue anymore. I fucking called it! Oh shit, it's a threat! It's a threat! Oh fuck! <laughs> Yeah, they know where we live. That's true. That's true. Yeah, they know where we live. They know it's us. Uh. Is it from a friend? No, no, it's not. Oh, my show is almost done. Don't rescue anymore. This be a warning from the killer? Yes. Or is it just a prank? No, it is not a prank. You should discuss this. Yeah, we should definitely discuss this with the group tomorrow. Death Note, is that you? I'll protect you all from the madness of this world. I'll take you to a place where you can be at peace. <gasps> yes, it's much more peaceful than here. This guy. This guy. Oh shit. What's his name again? Is it like Naotome or something like that? Namatame, yeah, yeah. You showed everyone the letter you received yesterday. Don't rescue anymore. Is this a warning? No punctuation or capitalization. Aw, oh, what a cliche. <laughs> Ain't this just a prank? The kind of stuff that only happens in the movies? No, they're nervous. Did you show this to your uncle? Uh, not yet. Senpai, Dojima-san is trustworthy. But it may be best to keep this to ourselves. Okay. He will ask why you received such a letter, and if he were to put you under surveillance, our hands would be tied. Okay. If this letter is real, what's most important isn't what it says. What it doesn't say. It's the fact that it was delivered to the Dojima residence, addressed directly to you. Yeah. This means the culprit knows in great detail who has been interfering with his crimes. Yes. And of all of us, he chose to deliver his message to the Dojima residence, home of a police detective. Whoa, that's a really good point. That's a huge risk. That's a huge risk. That means they would have to know that Dojima wasn't going to be there for a good chunk of time. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So remember when Adachi, remember when Adachi was with us for that one bit of time and then went over to Rize for a little bit and then like we saw him in the background, but we could very clearly tell that Rize was still there and everything. And then we left with Adachi, but then suddenly Rize was gone. Adachi would know Dojima's schedule really well. And what if it is that it's two people? Like Adachi is only part of the puzzle and Nametame is like the other half of it. I think we're pretty much on the right track here. 
Because the main thing that's very, like, odd about Adachi in general is that he always kind of seems to be, like, kind of loosey-goosey with everything, which would be a great front if he was the killer. But because he was with us that one time, like, in that very specific instance, a lot of his sussy nature of him just kind of was like, okay, no, you're fine, you're fine for now. But, but... That's all really there is in defense of, uh, in defense of Adachi. I'd have this letter checked at a crime lab if I could, but even then I doubt they'd find anything. No, that's a good idea. Do that. Do that. The text is a warning, while the subtext expresses the culprit's confidence that we can't use it to pinpoint his identity. Still do it, either way. So it's useless to tell the police. In fact, that would make things worse. Okay, yeah, that's, your that's, that's, fingers, that's true. It's just a prank. No, definitely not a prank. I think the chances of that are slim. This message is too specific, too perfect to be a prank. Mm. But how could the killer know so much about us? Could he be watching us from somewhere? Teddy's been saying for a while that when we're over there, he senses someone watching us. Ah. Wait. Every time we went to the other side to rescue someone, did we end up on the Midnight Channel ourselves? Oh. I don't know. It seems like no one else knows what we're doing. Yeah, that would make sense, because then other people would be like, why did I see you on TV the other night? That makes sense, I yeah. haven't heard any rumors about us at school. Even the people who I know check that channel haven't said anything. Sure. The only gossip I heard was about the people who disappeared. Hmm. Huh. I see. Come to think of it, how the Midnight Channel works is still a mystery. A big mystery, yeah. Let's put aside for now the matter of what that world truly is. There's too little data to go on. For now, we need to keep in mind that the culprit knows who we are. As long as we're all aware of that, it will be enough for now. Okay. Yeah, guess there's no use thinking about stuff we can't understand. Freaking out over speculation is just what the killer wants us to do, right? Yeah, let's just stay alert. This could come in handy. Yeah. Yeah. We told the others we'll have to wait until the situation changes. All right. Mind if I change the subject then? Sure. The culture, culture festival. Festival's just yeah. around the corner. What's our class doing again? Oh yeah, it hasn't been decided yet, huh? Well, we're in two separate classes, so... I heard we'll be voting on it soon. But aren't they still gathering ideas? Whoa! I think Yosuke just got hit with a bolt of inspiration. Yeah. Whatever it is, it'll be out there. I'd bet my lunch on it. <laughs> hey, Senpai. Have you decided who you'll be going around the campus with during the festival? My schedule's still wide open, you lucky guy. <laughs> oh, she just had to say something. <laughs> it's time for homeroom. Well, as you all know, next week is the culture festival. All right. And as you also know, we still haven't decided what our class is going to do for it. You guys don't care, do you? No, we don't! We're going to decide based on the suggestions we have so far. Please vote for one of them. Okay. Here they are. Break area, video room, and study room. Ugh. Wow. Sounds like whatever we pick, we don't need to put any effort into it. Talk about lack of motivation. Yeah, but the easier the better, right? Yeah. Oh, one more. Um, group? Date Cafe. Oh. Hey, who put in a suggestion like that? <laughs> Was it you, Chie? Uh-huh. Yeah, right. Why would I do such a thing? What's a group date cafe? Who knows? But I doubt anyone will vote for it. Our class is actually a pretty serious bunch. Chie was never more wrong than she had been about everything, anything in her life. Yeah, it's just a joke idea. You gotta have one weird one mixed in, you know? Sure. Ah, figures! We'll be passing around the vote sheet. Just circle one of the suggestions. We are all voting for that. What will you vote for? Not dumb. Major selection and turn in the sheet. Hell yeah. 
All right, time to count the votes. Uh, the first vote is group date cafe. <laughs> Second vote, group date cafe. Mm-hmm. Huh? Seriously? Here it Third goes. Third vote, video room. Fourth vote, group date cafe. Group date cafe, group date cafe, study room, group date cafe. <laughs> All the votes have been counted. The group date cafe is in first. Well, first place? What are we gonna do? Yep. Don't ask me, this is your fault. I do wonder though, do all those people who voted for it realize they have to run it themselves? I've never been on a group date before, so I was a little curious. <laughs> what the, you voted for it? Yep. Yeah. I thought it would be sad if no one voted for it. Oh my gosh, yes. But Yosuke's the one behind it. <sighs> hey, it wasn't just me. It came in first place. The public agrees. The man knows what they want. Well, since the majority rules, we'll be doing the group date cafe. All right. But what does that even mean? Is it like speed dating? Can we really pull this off? You'd all better pitch in on this. Actually, would the teachers be okay with this? Dude, how could Kashiwagi say no? Miss Kashiwagi's busy getting ready for those two notorious pageants. That's why she's leaving it up to us students to decide what to do. All right, all right. Yeah, right. She just dumped it in our laps because she didn't want to bother. That's also probably Group true. Group date cafe? Are we going to get any customers with this? Oh, my gosh. How the heck's this going to turn out? Dojima's staring intently at something. It looks like data about cards. Uh, about the accident. Sorry to bother you. Sorry, but my hands are full here. Want some coffee? Huh. That's my job. Don't worry about it. Dojima's smiling wryly. Oh, yeah. I was thinking about this when talking with Nanako just now, but I feel like she's changed a bit lately. Yeah, we hit rank 10 on our social link. No help to you. I don't know how to put it. She's stronger. I feel like I'm being left behind. Ever since you came, this house has become, well, homey. A house isn't just a big box. It's a place for a family to live together. Laughing, crying, fighting, spending most of your lives together. A warm place. Well said, well said. I forgot what that was like. I wanted to get that back more than anything, and yet I feel like I've been dodging it the whole time. You understand why? Well, oh shit! Oh shit! Holy shit! Oh! The truth! The actual truth! I mean, it's true though! It's actually true! It's. It's that's a bit of a brutal way to say it, but it's because he's scared. I mean, I mean the thing is is that he's an adult. He's going to be okay hearing it from a kid. And it's and it's true. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> you punk. You nailed it. That's it exactly. Wow. Wow. Oh, don't you? I have so much respect for you. Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! Yeah, we've been in the same place, but we weren't connected. You brought the two of us together. The rest is my problem. Where do I draw the line with this? You felt Dojima's quiet determination. Hell yeah, determination, dude. Build that up, build that up. Let's go. Let's go! Dojima can take a mortal blow in battle now! <laughs> ah, screw this. I'm drinking tonight. Kuwabara, you're drinking with me. Uh, alcohol free, of course. You pass out before me and you're under arrest, got it? <laughs> All right. Okay, yeah, sure. You drank with Dojima until he passed out and went to your room. Oh. Dojima pushed Nanako to your room for some reason. Okay. Now then, 
First off, sure. What? Seems Dojima has something in mind. Sorry, but can you go call Nanako down here? Sure. Take your time. Yeah. You called Nanako as Dojima ordered you to. You told me to go over there. It's okay. Oh! A cake? Wow! Oh, fun! What are we celebrating? Uh, well, today is a special day for us. What is it? A special day? That's right. Today's the day when you, me, and him become family. <gasps> oh. What about the four? Oh. Uh, well. Anyways, it's the day that we become a real family. Uh. Hmm. Hmm. I don't really get it, but it makes me happy. <laughs> All right, let's eat. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. So you spent an enjoyable time together. Nanako used up all her energy and fell asleep. Uh, well. <laughs> uh, sorry about making you go along with this. No, it was fun. Huh. You're a nice guy. Mmm, Dojima looks happy. I felt like I needed to do this to draw the line. Alright. And I wanted Nanako to know. She has to know how important my daughter is to me. Yeah. <laughs> She's looking more and more like Chizato. Mm. Her smile, her strong attitude. It was hard for me to even look at Nanako's face. Because she reminds oh. me so much of Chisato. I get that, yeah. Chisato died because she went to pick up Nanako. There were times when I'd come close to believing Bro, her. bro. But even then, I can't count the number of times she saved me just by being there. Uh, if I was living by myself, I would never have thought about taking you in. Uh. I was scared. Scared to have someone else around. <sighs> yeah. I was afraid we'd become a family. And then I'd lose it all again. I was running away by chasing a guy who'd run away himself. <laughs> it was almost funny. Uh, not crying, you're crying, chat. <sighs> Dodge him a smile looks sad. I've been scared this whole time. Yep. That's why I used revenge as an excuse to not spend time with her. Stopped running. That's right. Yeah. I can't make Nanako wait any longer. Hell yeah, hell yeah, Dojima. Dojima nods. Running, regretting, that crap all ends tonight. Hell yeah. I'm not gonna lose the things that are important to me. If this Never is again. If this is rank nine, what's rank ten gonna be? You can feel Dojima's strong resolve. Oh so good. That's the strength you've shown me. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Absolutely. Sat with Dojima for some time in silence before going to your room. Oh. There's a headline written in large letters on the bulletin board. The Miss Yasagami High Pageant! Oh! Seems to be announcing a beauty pageant that will take place during the Culture Festival. Ugh. On top of planning it, Kashiwagi's gonna be in it? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So that's why she agreed to plan this event. Oh my god. The name Noriko Kashiwagi is indeed on the entry list. The other contestants are... You see a list of familiar names. Yukiko Amagi, Shie Satanaka, Risei Kujikawa, Naoto Shiragane, Hanako Otani, Nobody better bully Hanako. It's a surprising lineup. One, two, wow. There's a lot of signups here. I'm surprised so many people took an interest. Whoa, Rise Kujikawa? Seriously? Oh man, trust a celebrity to kill the fun of it all. That's true. I bet she'll draw a huge crowd. 
Wow. Yukiko-san's finally entering. Oh, damn. If this was any other year, she'd win for sure. Now she's up against Rosette. And no one cares about Chie. It's gonna be a culture festival to remember. Huh? Rosette's entering? She's gonna take part in something like this? Hi, Sam Regal. I hear you. Maybe I better think more seriously about saving a seat. Look, Chie's entering too. She's actually pretty close to my type. Actually, I hear she has a lot of secret admirers. Naoto's that boyish, girlish, whatever, right? Oh my gosh. You know, she's, uh, pretty cute. Oh my god. Dude, you sound like a pervo when you laugh like that. But, to be honest, I think she's cute too. <laughs> Seems that each girl already has fans. Yo. Yo. Are you free for lunch? I don't know why, but Chie asked us to come to the roof. Sure. Yeah. She looked pretty serious. I wonder if something's happened. Oh, and Kanji's coming too. We were called out to the rooftop during lunch. Did something happen? You better have a damn good explanation for this! Oh! Yosuke signed them up! Yosuke signed them up! Oh! Oh! Oh, okay, yep. For what? The beauty pageant! You wrote down our names without telling <laughs> us, didn't you? <laughs> yep, yep, that makes sense. No, it wasn't me. Why do you automatically blame me? Oh, so wait, was it Yosuke? I mean, if you don't want to do it, you just say no, right? Like it was just a joke. We wouldn't be so pissed if we could do that! So was it Yosuke or was it not? Chie's popping off. Yeah, seriously? That's true, Teddy's not here. There's been something in the fine print I overlooked. Oh, wait. Yosuke might have done it, actually. So it was you! <laughs> oh, crap! Yeah, he admitted it. Hey, do you want us to take part in the beauty pageant? Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you guys know how popular Yukiko is here. And on top of that, we have an idol and a detective prince. What's the point of having a beauty pageant if all these incredible heroines aren't going to take part? So where do I fit in? <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Well, excuse me for not fitting in! Chie, don't worry, we love you. Hey, you want them to be in it too, don't you, Kanji? Huh? I ain't interested in that stuff. Based kanji. Uh, the, the look, the look. Naoto kun, <laughs> kanji kun says that he really wants you to be in it. Wow. What? Well, I, I didn't say nothing. Your body language did. What about you? You want them to be in it, right? <laughs> Enter the pageant, damn it. Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah. Of course I do. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Oh. I thought you might be a little jealous, not wanting me to show off to other guys, but I guess you're not that uptight. We're not dating, Rize. Hey, you guys are inching onto the bandwagon with Yosuke, aren't you? Yes, absolutely. So long as there are people looking forward to seeing me, I might as well put on a show for them. Of course, there's no need to involve my agency in this. That's right. That's the way to go. Teddy's looking forward to it, too. <laughs> Actually, I think he was more excited than anyone. It was him who was pushing me to sign you all up. And you... Yep. <gasps> so Ted's behind this, too. You call him Ted? Damn. <sighs> We're in an awkward position. If we can't refuse, I suppose there's no sense in arguing the point. But it seems ill-fitting for someone like me to get up on stage. Oh. I wonder if there's any way I could take it up with the school authorities. Oh, damn. Uh, I don't think it's a problem at all. Mm. I mean, just do it, you know? Seriously. <laughs> Dude, looks like your blood's boiling even more than usual. Oh. <laughs> Silly Kanji. Just tell her you want to see her on the stage. So, is it a deal? The four of us will be in the beauty pageant? Aww. 
What are you saying? Um, I beg you, please be in it. Wow. Wow, that was... If you do, my, uh, doubts will finally be cleared. Come on! Make me a man! Doubts? What are you talking about? Look, just, just do it, damn it! I mean, you're an ace detective, aren't you? Kanji! <laughs> what does that have to do with a beauty pageant? <laughs> Calm down, buddy. Calm down. The preparation for the culture festival in two days are going well. Whoa. We're back! I'm so tired. Where'd you guys go? Over to Jeunesse. We had to go get some paint and cloth. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, for the decorations. Thank you. Did you have them write you an invoice? Yeah, I think they understood what it was for, so they wrote it without us having to ask. Oh, cool. That's convenient. There's some things I want to go over about the day of the event. Is this about the group date cafe? Yes, since Yosuke's leading the executive committee. Ah. Wait, what? Yes, you are. Yes, you are, it Yosuke. It was your proposal, right? Yep. Take responsibility. Are you serious? Well, all you have to do is the reception. After people sign in, have a few guys and girls sit facing each other at a table. Conduct a short session first where they ask each other questions. After about half an hour of that, it'll be confession time. Get them to select the number of the person they like. If the other person accepts, that makes them a couple. Hey, Yosuke, you listening? <sighs> yeah, I hear you. <laughs> hey, Whoa. if we roll up this bit of cloth, won't it kind of be like a ball? Yeah, okay, I'll be the catcher. Why the catcher? Hey, Yosuke, want to be the batter? Batter, uh, batter, batter. Uh, I don't give a damn anymore. I'm in. Watch me slam that ball right back in your face. Hey, you guys better get serious about this. They're not. The group date cafe that your class will be running at the culture festival is getting underway. 